to show you guys a better way of how we're gonna install it, we actually created this display board. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Hi everyone and welcome to the Home Automation X. I'm Cindy and I'm joined by the fabulous Anika. How are you lovely? I'm great, hon. How are you? Amazing. So we are going to be doing a review today on the Toucan Outdoor Security System. But before we delve into that, let me encourage you to join us. You can subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon, and that will allow you to be informed of the latest and the greatest. Now I am super excited to be doing a review on this and if you like what you hear and want to know more about the product, we always have the links posted below. Now by clicking on those links, it will actually take you to our affiliate link which will allow us to purchase more fabulous products like this. Now for the Toucan system, we were actually given it which we are so grateful for. So now we are able to test it, do the review and allow you our users, our viewers to give us your feedback as well and a continuous chain of learning, of giving and receiving. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Now, what I love about this Toucan security camera is that it retrofits your existing light fixture. So by installing a smart socket and a camera, we're gonna show you exactly how this works. Before we begin, I'm gonna tell you what the features are. So there's an easy installation, two-way communication and light control durable design. If there's 100 decibels of siren alarm. Awesome. Well, that sounds fantastic. Let's delve into this box, shall we? Let's do it. To show you guys a better way of how we're going to install it, we actually created this display board and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the USB into the smart socket. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to screw that in. Okay, so once that's screwed in, we're going to allow this cable to come out towards the back here. Pull that through. So we're gonna go ahead and push this upward and screw it all in tightly. We're gonna make sure both of it is moving at the same time. So now we're going to install the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket is adhesive, which I love. You can just stick it on, but it also comes with um, screws. So what we're going to do is we're going to use screws today. Um, we're just going to position this into our screws with our washer. And we're just going to go ahead and put those in here. Before we actually tighten the screws all the way in, we're just going to take a look at the bubble level here and we're going to make sure it's adjusted and it's perfectly aligned into the middle. And we're going to grab our drill here and make it snug. Here we have it. Now we're going to go ahead with the conduit. And what we're going to do is we're going to first take the cable and just push it right back here. Fit it back there so that we can get our conduit and we can basically just slip this right into place. So it fits right above there. We're going to fit our wire right through that. Push that in. And now this extends. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend that upwards. And now we have a little piece right here, which is also adhesive at the back, and you can also screw it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slip this right in 
back here. So we're gonna extend the conduit all the way to the top until it touches that. And we're gonna pull the wire just to make sure there's no slack and everything is tight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cable and we're gonna connect it to our camera. Fits perfectly right in there. And we're gonna shape this up into an eight. And just run the wire through. And we're gonna fit that in there. It also comes with this little cover, so in case bad weather, you just fit that right in there. All right, now let's test out this toucan, shall we? We shall. See if toucan, in fact, share the platform and if it will allow us to reverberate our sound. And there we go. Anika is taking flight much like the toucan. Let's see how it sounds. Hey, Cindy, hey, how Cindy, are you? How are you? I'm amazing. You're how are looking you? beautiful. I could beautiful. see you on the screen on the here. Screen I, love here. I love your hair. Oh, darling, thank you so much. <laughs> Take care, brush your hair. That's what I always say. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, you sound and look lovely, I'm sure. I can't see you right now, but I trust that you always look beautiful. Oh, and thank I you. And I encourage thank you to come back. I miss you. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Reunited. Reunited. C2 can makes wonderful things happen. Motion sensor automatically is delivered to your iPad or whatever device you have, whatever tablet you have. And so once you get that notification, let's say the person looks suspicious, you're not feeling it, you can warn them. You can say, step away, I'm gonna call the police. They're still giving you that creepy feeling. Click on this, sound the alarm. This is how it looks from the front of the house. As you can see, it's picking up all the cars going by. It's showing everything in great detail. Quality is amazing, even in the dark. The lights automatically turn on in the dark, so you won't have to worry about not having a clear image of what you're looking at. This is the back of the house. You can see the lights are picking up everything as well. Images are perfectly clear. Now I'm gonna show you how to set it up in your app. So we go to the type of device. We click on Toucan, the outdoor in camera with intercom. And from there, it's going to ask me to turn on the Bluetooth and ask for permission. I allow that. And I am choosing which Toucan I would like to set up. It finds the device. In this case, it calls it device one. It discovers it, it checks the Wi-Fi, and it takes me to the next screen, which is what I wanna name my Toucan. I connect to the back door one, and backyard rather, and then I click on my Wi-Fi and I enter in my password for my Wi-Fi. It initializes and connects to that connection. Once it's done spooling, you will be successfully connected, your backyard to that, you choose what time zone you're in, and it will ask you if it wants you to automatically play a sound when it detects a person or a vehicle. Would I like to use the chime? Yes, I would. And then I can finish the setup or I can change the light schedule because it's set for dusk to dawn. I want to change it so that it's motion sensor activated. I then click on via motion sensor, click on night, and then I adjust those changes. Now you can do that in this screen or you can actually do it from the settings menu. I'll be showing that to you momentarily. It does take a moment. I proceed with the smart socket setup. Now, as I said in the settings, you can also do via motion sensor. You click on the night and you are good to go. I now scroll up and I can go to light motion timeout. 
There is 30 seconds, 5 minutes, or custom. I'm going to choose 5 minutes. And that is how you do it. This is a great camera, and what I love most about it is that it's USB powered to the light. Mm. So you don't have to worry about batteries or charging anything. And what I love about it is that it's motion censored. So as soon as you see anyone walk by and it's dark, the lights turn right on and you get a clear image of everything that you're looking at. Well, speaking of being notified when there's motion, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you can be notified when we create motion on the YouTube. <laughs> As always, we enjoy you watching and we enjoy to provide you content. So please feel free to comment, suggest, or just regale us with your wit. <laughs> We're always open to that. Now, as always, please follow us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, Instagram, and check out homeautomationx.com. Thank you for watching.